like if if you really think about it, like if you just compare uh, the Bitcoin economy to you know the mainstream uh, you know fiat economies, uh, it's just like it's like two different worlds, you know, because right now in the United States, um, everybody is talking about you know recovery, recovery, like we're we're pulling out of the recession. Finally, um, yes, it only took but, six but, years. You know, like, you know, the the real unemployment rate is is still somewhere around like sixteen percent, I think. Um, and yeah, the Dow is above seventeen thousand, which is you know record high. Um, but we also they have at least. Um, we we also have lots of inflation, regardless of what anybody tries to tell you. You know, all you have to do is go to the grocery store, and you can see the inflation. Um, you know, wages wages are stagnant. Um, which is really bad because wages aren't going up and inflation is going up. So that means people are uh, getting poor. Um, but then when you look at the, the crypto economy, uh, it's just constant innovation. Like it's, new jobs are coming up every day that you can get paid in Bitcoin to do. New companies are being born every day. You know, people are getting rich every day. You know, and in the meantime, people, you know, in the mainstream economies are, you know, they're getting very, screwed still. A very small group of people are getting extremely rich while most of the people are, you know, they're either losing their jobs or um, they're not getting, their wages are stagnant, which means they're well, actually yeah. their wages getting are worse stagnant because prices while all are of going their, up. All of their expenses are going up in price while their wages are stagnant, which means, yeah, they, they, they get yep. poorer. It's a, it's but, you a, know, it's a dynamic the you know the Fed will try to tell you like oh we don't have that bad inflation you know we're actually we actually have less inflation than we would like you know it's under two percent, um, you know but interesting fun fact about how um, about how they calculate inflation I think it's the um, the Bureau of Labor Statistics I think that's what the agency the federal agency is called that does the CPI the Consumer Price Index. But at some point in the 20th century, I think it was in, around the 1970s, they actually changed how they calculated the price level. Um, and so, if we use the if we use the old CPI, inflation right now would be actually around 12 percent, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but the new way to calculate uh, the price level, we have inflation of under 2 percent. So you know that's that's just an interesting thing to think about. Uh, you know. Which which one is right? Which one is wrong? Um, I would argue that all it takes is one trip to the grocery store, and inflation is much higher than less than two percent. Yeah, it's it's obvious to anyone who like actually pays attention to prices and doesn't just you know buy stuff blindly. Like, <laughs> I mean, here's like just one like tiny little example. Like, um, I enjoy hot Cheetos, for instance. Uh, so I, you know, back in early college, I would like stop at 7-Eleven and, and get a bag of hot Cheetos. They had a, you could get like a big, like a big bag like this, you know, enough t for one person and also to share with some friends. You get a big bag for like that for like a dollar, 99 cents actually. Um, and, and then, and then they, they, they made the bag smaller. So it's barely enough for one person actually. And, um, that was still 99 cents. So it's like, oh crap. So. You know, you you get less basically for the same price that you're paying. Then they made the bag even smaller, added more air inside, so that there's like there's less chips in the in the bag t to air ratio, and then increase the price to like one forty nine. So you know yep. that's a fifty. You get less, you pay more. Yeah, yeah, that's that's inflation right there, and it's like it's. It's not, it's not Hot Cheetos' fault. It's not the chip company's like fault. It's it's their business model to be profitable, and they basically have to do that in order to make to keep that pro that product profitable. Um, it's and 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 that's just one tiny little example. You can see this, you know, across the entire economy. Um, things get more expensive, and you get less of it, or you get a worse product. Uh, that's that's the effects of inflation right there and it's, it's right in people's faces you can't listen to the government saying that the the inflation rate is just one or two percent i mean it's it's obviously bs you gotta you gotta look at the proof in the pudding and see how prices are actually um 
inflating right before your eyes. Yeah, um, like in in any instance of inflation, uh, there's. There's three, but I can only think of two right now. So the two that I that I can think of, there's two main areas that inflation affects no matter what every single time uh, in a period of inflation, and that's uh, food prices and energy prices. Um, so, but but then also there there can be uh, like a, a specific thing that that's affected. Like in the '90s, it was uh, dot, the dot com bubble, the tech bubble. Um, in the 2000s, it was the housing bubble. Um, but what always happens is energy prices go up and housing prices go up. And so the, and the way that, uh, the government calculates inflation is they just, um, they imagine the ideal average household and they just create a budget, an ideal budget for that household. And, and each, um, each industry, each type of good, uh, is given, is just arbitrarily given a weight to that budget. So like, you know, they might decide that you'll spend 3% of your budget on food one year. So, um, and the, the things that have the, um, the least amount of weight added to them is energy prices and food prices and that third category that I can't think of right now. So, you know, basically the people who, dis- who calculate the CPI, they purposely leave out the things that are affected the most during inflation. So that's that's another fun fun mm, fact about inflation for you. Cheat. Yeah. 